Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join Billy and I today out here in the vegetable garden. It's early July. It's a warm, humid day here in Pennsylvania. It's early morning here, around 8.30. I'm already starting to sweat. But I guess that's part of garden, the reality of gardening. Well, anyhow, today I wanted to share with you some tips and ideas on how I train my tomato plants up the garden trellis using these cattle panels. And so thanks for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. And so right here in front of me is these sun gold cherry tomatoes that I'm growing up this cattle panel trellis that I, I did a video on that a, a couple months ago. It's really easy to do. These cattle panels are around $22 and you know a couple five foot T posts are a couple dollars a piece and uh, you can have yourself a nice arched trellis to grow your vegetable plants up. And so uh, these Sun gold cherry tomatoes, they need to be trained up this cattle paddle trellis. And so uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do this morning. And so there's only two things you're going to need, or at least I use here. I have a one of my a big roll of twine here that I use and uh, just a utility knife. And so here's the trellis that I built here. And then on this side, on the sunny side, you want to make sure you plant your vegetables on the south side so they get plenty of the sun, especially the, the tomato plants like at least six to eight hours of sun. And so at the base here, I, this is where I planted two of my sun gold cherry tomatoes. And uh, I took some twine and tied it around the base there of the plant. And then I wrapped it or twisted it around the base or the stem or trunk of the tomato plant. I did that initially to bring it over to the cattle panel trellis. And then from there I was able just to tie it individually to the, the stem to the uh, trellis. Just with different short pieces of my twine. There's another one over here. Now on this particular plant here, in this case here, I'm not pruning this at all. I'm allowing it to, to go wild. You know, off of each stem you have a, a leaf. You know, a leaf is really a, basically a branch, but you can see here that the different suckers that have developed, they then turn into a another leaf or a branch which then also off of that you're going to get your different tomato trusses there there's one flowering right there and so these suckers they end up getting pretty long and leggy so these are the ones that I want to end up tying with some of my twine to the trellis so I took my roll of twine and cut me about five of these pieces of string they're probably a good foot long or so and then you always want to be careful of the tomato truss so you don't disturb that and then just gently take it and tie a knot around it and what's going to be nice about this trellis is that these Tomato plants will grow probably close to 14 feet long, and so as I'm walking through this trellis, I can also eat these tomatoes off it. So it's kind of like a living, edible trellis. And uh, so, yeah, you just want to take these stems, these little trunks, and just tie them, tie them a little bit loose, 
But again, de definitely make sure you're, you're not harming those flowering tomato plants, tomatoes. I might go through here like once a week and do this. It's always something kind of fun to do out in the garden, you know, it's not backbreaking or uh, a job, you know, it's kind of easy, one of those easy jobs to do out in the garden. Here's one on the other side here, needs to be tied. And so yeah, building this trellis was something really easy to do, something I would encourage you to, to, to uh, put in your garden. You know, some people grow melons up these too, I see, and then they support them with some type of support. So anyhow, these look like they're pretty well supported. So let's head down and I'll show you another trellis that I have where I need to also train those up, the other cattle panel trellis that I have. So follow me along. So through the trellis here is my potato patch area. I have my different varieties of potatoes. I have some strawberries growing here. I have some Kentucky Wonder Beans. But anyhow, here on the end of my section here is where I have another cattle panel trellis growing. And I also have some yard, Asian yard long beans growing up there. But on each end, I also have some yellow pear tomato plants growing there. Of course, the indeterminate tomato plants are the ones you want to use if you're going to grow them up a trellis. Because the indeterminate, they just keep on growing and growing up until the frost. And again, I'm, these are a plant that I'm not going to be pruning. I'm just going to let them continue to branch out. But you can see that my beans are starting to work their way up the trellis there. But I thought what I d would do here is, on each end of the trellis, at least grow a tomato plant up as an experiment and see see uh, how they're going to work. But so far they're doing well. But these also need to be uh, attached to the trellis. So let's take a minute and do that. So I cut me about six more pieces of this twine here. This is nice over in this section because I'm kind of in the shade here for now. And so it's a little cooler over in this section here. And so I'm just going to take these suckers and really they're stems now and off of that there's going to be a leaf or another branch. But again there's going to be tomatoes that are going to be developing off of that. And so uh, this is one of those fun things to do out in the garden that's nice and therapeutic, you know, kind of relaxing to do. It's a nice working height out here on the trellis. The birds are really singing nice this morning out here. And so you just want to go through and make sure you have all your different areas of your tomato plant nice and supported. And you know, once you realize that you have enough stems developing, or trunks, you know, you could also call them, you could start really picking some of these suckers that are in the crotch area or the axle between the, the uh, stem and the leaf or the trunk and the branch. Once you realize that you have enough stems going up your trellis, you can start really to pick some of these suckers out of here in, the cro in those crotch areas. And that's going to help send more energy to the, uh, to the fruit and to the plants. So I probably will go through and and pick out some of these suckers now that the uh, 
these main trunks are growing up this trellis. So anyhow, it's uh, it's something always fun to do is to train your your uh, tomato plants up up these trellises. And so anyhow, I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. If you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so so you could receive future videos. And if you haven't visited our website, you could do that at plantsmartliving.com. So anyhow, I hope you have a wonderful day today. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.